the name of the dictionary, so I will share the screen now. You can see. Can you see this? Oxford Learner's Dictionary. Can you see this? Oxford Learner's Dictionary. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I will share the link of the dictionary in the in your WhatsApp group. Then uh, you can browse it later. Okay. Okay, sir. So I have shared now. I think you can uh, you have got it. So now I put the word search in uh, in the search option. I put the word good. Now you type it good. From here, I captured the uh, picture. So now you can see here. Good. Can you see? Can you see this? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the one I captured in, in the presentation. You, you might have seen this. Good book. Yeah. Good. So uh, all the meanings are here. You can go and see. Okay. This is one way. You can click the sound here better. Uh, see the superlative forms are here. Yeah, comparative and superlative forms are noted here. And the sound is here. You can click here, sound, and get the meaning uh, down high quality. So A1 category, OK? And good, another meaning, uh, pleasant. So meaning one, meaning two. And then if you go down, you have different meanings, skillful. There are different meanings are there, favorable, OK? Uh, morally right. Following rule, kind. Okay, you are using with animals. You talk about health. You talk about usefulness. Uh, there are how many meanings? Now you can see there are seven, 17 meanings are there for good. Huh? Can you see? Only one word, but having 17 different situations. Clear now? You have to use 17 different situations. But still, what kind of vocabulary is? A1 type. Okay, now you go for excellent. So you have to type excellent. So when you type, uh, the vocabulary is listed here. This is A2 type. See, excellent. So the excellent, uh, excellent book, excellent article. The meal looked and tasty, uh, tasted excellent. So you have the example sentences, truly excellent. Both food and the service were truly excellent. Yeah. The performance of the cast are uh, uniformly excellent throughout. She has done an excellent job of adapting the novel of the screen. So it's an excellent example, right? You are, go you are going to uh, excellent example, right? You are putting excellent. Now you are moving to the second part. A2 is fine, but A1 try to avoid, okay? Good, don't use more. Go for excellent. Or you go for superb or outstanding. Third one is outstanding. So now, if you go for outstanding, it's B2 category, still adjective, okay? So the, it is listed here, extremely good, yeah? Extremely excellent, yeah? So an outstanding player, right? And uh, the area of outstanding natural beauty, outstanding beauty, right? Outstanding natural beauty, so two adjectives are there. So you have to remember there is an order to put your adjectives, okay? Put that one, quality. Then uh, natural. Okay, fine. Outstanding adjectives. Okay. So the last one is superb. Superb. C1 category. You can see here. Excellent. Uh, very good quality. A superb player. The car is superb condition. His performance was absolutely superb. You look superb. You look superb today. Right? Superb. It's, it is superb. Yeah, the car is superb. Your, your hospitality is really superb. Yeah? It's a high English now. So C1, C2, B1, B2, all are high English. How do you identify this? So you have to go to this dictionary, Oxford Learner's Dictionary, and then put the word, and then it will be written in the... Uh, Code word A1, B1, C1, C2. So you can identify high class words now. Okay. Understand? We have, uh, if you are going to identify the vocabulary equal and opposite words, you have another dictionary. Uh, I'm introducing another dictionary now. 
uh, Colin Dictionary. Can you see this now online? Yes. Sir. So now you can use good. Now I'm putting here good. I type it here. So the word is now the meanings are synonyms are listed. See, equal meaning synonyms are listed here. Good mean synonyms. Excellent, great, yeah, pleasant. There are different uh, words are here listed. Admirable. Okay. So this dictionary will help you call in dictionary. It will give you synonyms. Can you see the synonyms is highlighted? So summary, definition, synonyms. You just go for synonyms, right? And even the collocations are there. Where you are going to use it? If you click that collocations, you can have that uh, situations like agricultural goods, available goods. So here the good is uh, using with a good idea, yeah? Good intention, good listener, good mood. Okay, produce goods. You have uh, collocations huh? and pronunciation. If you want to check with the pronunciation, you can check with the pronunciation. I'm sorry. So there is a pronunciation, somebody is uh, pronouncing, you can listen to that. Synonyms. Okay, and also you have uh, definitions. You click the definition. You can get the definition. So this is a very good dictionary. Uh, you can use it especially for uh, synonyms and collocations. What is collocation? The, the word come with situation. Where you are going to use it. Uh, a word, where can you use it? So that word will be connected. You can see in collocation, can you see this? When I click the collocations, good can be used in different form as a noun. Goods. This is nouns, huh? Agricultural goods, available goods, right? Now you are using as an adjective here. Good idea, yeah. Good listener. Good look. Good mood. See examples are listed. It. This is how you are going to develop your vocabulary. So far clear. Dictionary. I have introduced two dictionaries and one more dictionary. I can give you uh, in this time. That is what you call Longman dictionary. So I will share these two dictionaries now on, in your group. This is, now I'm putting here good here, same. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. So if I put this good here, now uh, you can see in this Longman dictionary, you have a speaker. See, can you see all speakers are here? You listen to and practice to, right? If you click here, you can see a uh, good hotel. You will listen. Hotel. The same way you repeat. A good hotel. Okay. Good quality cloth. Good quality cloth. The same way you practice. You understand? This dictionary will help you to uh, improve your listening and also speaking. You repeat, listen and repeat, listen and repeat. The vocabulary. So you take uh, five words from adjectives and put that one, practice it and go for type of uh, category, A, B, C category. And then you apply with the example. OK, clear now? Okay. So I think I have explained everything. And then I'll share the link to you. Uh, it will be really helpful to you uh, when you go for 